Okay, so today we're going to look at how you can transfer your apps from your Fire TV stick or your Fire TV cube to your Android device or Google TV. Now, I know a lot of you have said recently have been quite angry about Amazon moving from the Android system to the Vega system in the future and are saying that you're no longer going to buy Fire TV. So this video is ideal for you if you want to be able to transfer your existing apps from your Fire TV stick cube or Fire TV to a new Android device. All the details coming up shortly. So as I say, this video is going to show you a quick and easy method to wirelessly transfer your apps from your Fire TV Stick Cube or Fire TV to your new Android device. So first of all, on your Fire Stick, you're going to need, or Fire TV or Fire TV Cube, you're going to need a certain app. So go across to Find, down to Search, Middle button, and first of all, you're going to search for Explore. That's the letter X, P, and as you're typing it, you should see Explore File Manager. Go down to it, highlight it, middle button, and then you're looking for this, this icon with the blue background. Make sure it's highlighted, middle button, and then press the middle button again to download it. This shouldn't take too long. Just be patient, let it download, and let it install. And once it's installed, you should see the arrow pointing to the right with open to the right of it. Middle button on the remote. And then this is very, very important. You must allow Explore to access photos, media, and files on your device. Make sure allow is highlighted, middle button. And then the next thing what we want to do is we want to go down on the left. Oh, if this comes up, just consent to this or check your options. We want to go down on the left to app manager, middle button, and then down to installed and middle button. Now here's a list of all the apps that I've installed myself on my Fire Stick. And I should be able to transfer any of these across to my Google TV device. There are apps further down under system. These are apps that are supplied with my Fire Stick. Now, it's, there's no guarantee that any of these apps in here, if you try transferring them to a non-Amazon device, whether or not they would work, or certainly even another Amazon device, these are specifically designed generally for the device that you're currently using. So you can pretty much rule out that you're going to be able to transfer any of these. A lot of these, you're not going to know what they are anyway. So I would say try and stick with the stuff under installed and ignore the system part. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to go over to the right hand side of the screen by pressing the right hand part of the ring on the remote control and then I'm going to go up to internal shared storage middle button open that up and I'm going to go into download not downloader download highlight that middle button and then what we want to do is go back over to the left and we want to find the app that we want to transfer. So in this example, what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer TV Bro, the TV web browser. So highlight that and then press and hold the middle button on the remote. And then once you see this menu, let go of the middle button and then go across to copy middle button. And we don't want to move it. We just want to copy it. So go down to cancel and then go across to OK middle button. And this is going to copy the app into our downloads folder. Right. So we've got it here. Now, what I would suggest is only copy one app at a time across because obviously the Fire Stick doesn't have a great deal of storage. And if you're making copies of the app, duplicate copies like we are at the moment, then we're going to fill up the space on the Fire Stick in next to no time. Do one app at a time. Rewatch re this video each time you want to transfer an app. OK, so what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to press the home button on the remote control to come out. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to download another app. So go across to the magnifying glass down to search middle button and this time we are going to type send and as we're typing send we should see hopefully there you go send files to tv go down to that highlight it middle button and then make sure you see this uh, light blue and dark blue app with send files to TV and the two arrows in it. Highlight that middle button. And then once you see this screen, middle button again to start downloading and installing it. Shouldn't take too long. It's quite a small app. There you go. As you can see, mine's now installing. Once you see open, 
middle button on the remote control and then press the middle button again to go th and again and again and then middle button again and then this again is very very important you must allow send files to tv to access photos media and files on your device make sure allow is highlighted middle button so that's set up of the fire stick we're ready to go and we've got our first app queued up and ready to go across to our android device what i'm going to do now is i'm just going to swap over to the android device and on here i'm going to go across to the magnifying glass in the top right hand corner go down to search movies shows apps and more middle button and then i'm going to search for send files to tv again on this device this one might take a little bit more typing so okay so i've just typed in there send files let's just go to the magnifying glass just at the bottom right hand corner of the keyboard middle button it's found it okay so all we need to do is make sure the installs highlighted middle button and let it download and install hopefully again shouldn't take too long there you go once it's installed you should see open so go down to open middle button and go across so just keep pressing the middle button on the remote control until we go past the tutorial and again this is very very important we must allow send files to tv to access photos media on your device so make sure that allows highlighted middle button okay and here it says because i've got an android 11 device or higher it says we need to give extra permissions so it says here on Android 11 and higher apps are restricted to access only audio videos and picture files this application needs your permission to access and manage all files no file will be deleted or modified without your consent unfortunately your device does not allow you to grant this permission directly you have to follow these steps to grant the permission so it says select allow go into settings go into the settings settings panel of this application select permissions select storage select allow all files or always allow it may be different on your device so let's just do that so let's just go down to allow and middle button and there we go we're in the permissions section so let's just go down and there we go we've got permissions at the bottom of the screen so highlight that middle button and go into files and media and on mine i need to select allow management of all files so pick the one on yours which gives you the large permissions you might have to play around with this so let's just go to allow management of all files okay so it says allow this app to access modify and delete files on the device or connected storage devices this app may access files without asking you okay so make sure allows highlighted middle button let's just press the back button on the remote control keep pressing it until we go back to this screen here now we want to go press the down part of the ring on the remote control so that receive is highlighted in a light blue middle button on the remote and that's now waiting to receive a file from our fire tv stick okay so i've popped the screen of the fire tv stick down in the bottom right hand corner of the screen there let's just make sure that is the fire stick yes it is okay so let's just go back into send files to tv and make sure on your fire stick cube or fire tv that send is highlighted in the light blue middle button on the remote this is the fire stick remote go down to the download folder middle button and then select the file or the a name of the app that you want to transfer the one that you transferred using explore into the download folder earlier so as you can see there you go mine's there tv bro middle button and there we go it asks us to select the device to receive the transfer so as you can see there I've, i'm transferring it to my onn 4k streaming box which is my google tv box make sure that is highlighted middle button and there you go as you can see the fire stick sending it and the onn box is receiving it once that line's got to the end on both it should have finished there you go as you can see both now say succeeded so i'm going to get rid of the fire stick window from the bottom right hand corner of the screen and on my google tv box 
I'm just going to highlight that, that I've just downloaded, middle button, and then I'm going to go to open a middle button. And it says here for your security, Android does not allow your phone smart TV to install unknown apps from any application except Google Play Store by default. You should allow unknown source app from your system settings. So let's just go to show setting and let's go down to send files to TV and turn that switch on so the little switch beside it goes blue back button on the remote to go back and let's try download or try installing this again so middle button on the remote make sure that opens highlighted middle button and there you go it now says staging app hopefully shouldn't take too long and there we go it now comes up do you want to install this app so press the left hand side of the ring on your remote to highlight install middle button and there you go, the app is now installing. Just be patient though with this part. And there you go, once it's installed, you should see open or done. So go to done, middle button, press the back button once on your remote. And then what we wanna do is we wanna go up to the top right hand corner to this sort of compass thing just up here. So highlight that middle button. And here we've got a list of apps or the installation files for apps in our file explorer so what we really want to do now is we want to delete that installation file it's only an installation file it's not the actual app itself it's just the app that just the installation file to install that particular app is taking up space so highlight it press and hold the middle button on the remote control until this comes up on some remotes you might just have to tap the middle button once go down to delete middle button and then make sure deletes highlighted middle button again and there you go that's got rid of the install file so let's just keep going back until we go back to our main menu i've just switched back to the fire tv stick and we're going to come out of this send files to tv app and what we're going to do is going to go back into explore and just as we did on the google tv stick oh or cube or whatever you want to call it. We just going to go in and we're going to delete the original file. So download on the right there where we put the install file into. I'm just going to go across and into that. And there's TV Bro, the APK. We can delete that. So I'm just going to press and hold the middle button until this menu appears. Go down to delete, middle button. Confirm it by going down to OK, middle button, and just go back to the main menu. And then we can go back to the uh, Google TV device. And let's go down to your apps and then across there, go to see all and hopefully there we go tv bro let's just go into it make sure that it works okay so here it's asking us do we want to use the new engine or the old engine let's use the new engine that app has worked absolutely fine that's been transferred directly across from our fire tv stick now unfortunately as in most apps unless you sign into them and they sync the settings to a server it's not going to transfer the settings across unfortunately it is just literally the app itself so you will re really need to reset the app up i'm afraid if anyone knows how to transfer settings across from individual apps then please let us know in the comments down below. But as far as I know, I'm not aware of any way of doing this. Some apps might actually give you the option in their settings to export configuration files across. But unfortunately, that's only apps that have that particular feature designed and built into them. Not all apps will allow you to transfer settings across, unfortunately. So there you go. I hope you like this video and I hope it helped you out. If it did, then please consider hitting that thanks button and making a donation to this channel or if you're in the market for a vpn want to have a look through my amazon store or looking for fire stick accessories a fire stick a fire tv cube etc then please have a look in the description of this video we've got loads of links down there for you donating buying and subscribing really does help support this channel it helps me to be able to dedicate more time to spend researching and bringing you 
these great videos. And whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos for you right here, right now, covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully whilst you're here, you're gonna find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money. And whilst you're looking through my videos, if you see anything that you think your friends, your family, or your work colleagues might be interested in, then please don't forget to share these videos on your social media timelines. Thanks very much for watching.